Hello and welcome to Navarro Tuts Plus Quick Tip. I'm Madi Pordila and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create sideways text with CSS. So let's jump straight in. I'm in CodePen where I have some simple HTML here to be able to demonstrate the uh, technique. I have an H1, an H2 and a paragraph. Now, before I get into the actual method that I want to show you today, uh, I'm going to show you an alternative. And it's something that you might be considering, like, if I ask you, well, how can you write text sideways? Well, the first thing that will probably come into your mind would be, well, use a transform, right? Well, let me show you uh, what a transform does and why it's not exactly the best option. So, in the CSS, I'm going to make a comment here. I'm going to say with transform. Let's say I want to transform this text right here. So I'm going to say h2. So what would you do? You would say transform, rotate, maybe, you know, 90 degrees. Let's make it vertical. So sideways, right? Well, right now it's gone. And that's because the transform origin is by default, I believe it's center center. So to get it into the right place, you will need to set transform origin top left, all right? And now you can start seeing it. And let's also set a margin left of two rems, right? And with that, the text is now in a view. Now, the problem with the transform is that when you use a transform, you basically take that element out of the context here. So you can see that it kind of overlaps the text below it and the element itself doesn't have the height that it needs. In our case we would need to add um, you know maybe a padding top or a margin top to the element below it to offset that but every time you make a change to the, to the text that you rotated you need to change the value of that margin or padding as well to compensate and that's not a very good approach. Now, the approach or the method that I want to show you today involves using the writing mode CSS property. That's, I think, the best way uh, to get sideways text. So let me show you what I mean by that. So let me just comment these. And I'm going to say H2, writing mode, vertical RL. And the result is this. This is exactly what we want. So let me show, let me um, talk a little bit about what writing mode is all about. Uh, writing modes are made for basically supporting the various scripts and languages that we have. There are so many uh, ways writing works nowadays, right? From left to right, horizontally. Uh, right to left horizontally, and others even flow vertically. Uh, the writing modes specification was made to support all of these scripts that we use nowadays around the world. But we can also use it to create some very interesting typographic effects like you can see here. So to use it, you would say writing mode, vertical RL. RL stands from right to left. There is also an LR mode, and we can see that actually if, if we give this a height of 150 pixels, right? You can see it goes from, the text goes from right to left. But if I change this to LR, it's going to go from left to right. And also notice that the cursor changed when I used a writing mode vertical. Also, instead of vertical writing mode, you can use sideways writing mode. So for example, if I say sideways right to left or left to right, uh, you get similar results to a vertical writing mode, but they're a little bit different. See, when I go from right to left, it goes in this direction. When I go from left to right, it goes from this direction, so from the bottom up and from the left to the right. 
Now these are experimental. I just want to warn you about that. The uh, sideways writing modes are uh, currently only available in the working draft of CSS writing modes level 4. So they're not quite implemented in browsers just yet. For now, if you want to use or create sideways text, use the vertical writing mode. Uh, something else that I want to quickly touch on is text orientation. Now the text orientation uh, property defines the orientation of the text characters in a line. And it, you can all, only use it in vertical mode. So if I'm in a vertical LR, for example, and I set text orientation to, for example, upright, it's going to be displayed like this. I can also set it to mixed, which is actually by default, I believe. Uh, you can also go sideways right. You can also go sideways. But a lot of these properties are still experimental. So the one that works or yields a different result in Firefox is upright. And as I was saying, this only works when um, the writing mode is in vertical mode. And it's useful for when you want to control how um, the languages that use a vertical script are being displayed. That's uh, just a quick little note. Now, what about browser support? Well, if we go to caniuse.com and we search for a writing mode, the CSS writing mode property has a pretty good coverage. It's supported in all major browsers, except in older versions of Internet Explorer, uh, they support a slightly different uh, version of the spec. But other than that, feel free to use it wherever you want. And that's it for this quick tip. Hope you found it useful. Let us know down in the comments what you think about this uh, CSS property. And if you've used it before, maybe you know other methods for creating sideways text. Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Adi Pordila. Take care.